In HTML codes, you can separate text in columns using a table. In this video, we will be discussing to you how to do it. Hyperlink text markup language or HTML is the standard markup language that is used for displaying text on an internet browser. It is often assisted by style sheet and scripting languages such as CSS and JavaScript, respectively. Aside from the standard use for tabulating data by rows and columns, tables can also be used for separating text in columns. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. First, we should write the HTML code for a table with two rows and two columns. As you can see on the HTML codes, there are two rows and two columns. In TR, they refer to the rows, while the TH refers to the columns. So the more TH you put, the more columns you assign. If you put more TRs, you put more rows. Next, we will fill up the first row with titles. TH stands for the heading, while TD down below refers to the description. We will fill up the second and last row with descriptions. And to make it even more interesting to read the text, that has a lot of descriptions, we will highlight them using bold, italic, and underline. We have already discussed in the previous video how to highlight the text in a certain manner. B for bold, I for italic, and U for underline. This is intended to emphasize certain words in a paragraph. To even make it more interesting to read the paragraph, we will color the text as well as its background. We have already discussed to you what are he hex codes in a previous video. It contains six digits containing a number or a letter for each, between 0 to 9 and A to F. To make it more professional, to look at the web page, we will align the text. For the heading, we will put the words at the center, while for the description down below, we will justify it. We will expand those words from left to right, so they won't be left aligned, nor right aligned. And it's not even centered. Justified is different from center because you span the words, expand the words from left to right extensively. We will put margins on the table so that the paragraphs between the left and right columns will even become more legible and more conspicuous to read. We assign the border with one pixel and the padding with eight pixels. This is to make the boundaries even clearer for each row and column inside the table containing text. We will now preview the web page. As you can see here, the top row has a blue-green background, while the lower row uses orange, more like red-orange. And then for the text color, up and down, we use white all throughout, so that the words will be clearly readable. We can now prove that it's possible to use a table to contain a lot of words, and use it like a division between the columns. In a succeeding video, we will be discussing more complicated examples. 
I hope you find this initial video discussion about tables containing paragraphs interesting for you.